Okay, so in other videos I've talked about um, evaluating functions. So if you have a function like f of x equals x squared plus 6, then you can evaluate that by putting in a number for x, and then wherever you see an x, you put that number in, and then you figure out what the output is. Um, today I want to talk about something that's a little bit different, but basically the same, and that is um, when you have a variable expression as the input of a function. So we might get something like evaluate f of x plus 2. Um, and that's asking us to consider x plus 2 as the input of the function instead of just x. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did before, where we take f of x plus 2, and then if you remember, we everywhere I see an x, I'm going to write x plus 2 instead. So where I see this x, I'm going to write x plus 2 plus 6. So we get here, I have to use FOIL on this, so I'm going to go ahead and write it as x plus 2 times x plus 2 plus 6. So this is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 2x is going to be 4x plus 4 plus 6. So we're going to get x squared plus 4x plus 10. And that is the final answer. So f of x plus 2 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 10. So when you put in a variable expression, you're not going to get out a single number in most cases. You're going to get out another expression. But this is actually how we would consider changing this function in a particular way. And we'll learn more about that later. But all that you need to be able to do to evaluate it is plug in or substitute x plus 2 anywhere you see an x. So anywhere you see x, put in x plus 2 instead. And then keep working out the algebra until you get a final simplified answer. So let's try one more example. We'll try something a little bit different this time. So let's try a rational expression or a rational function. So a rational function is when we have a fraction inside of our function. So when we have a fraction in our function, that's a rational function. So let's do x over 3 minus x. So if we are going to evaluate x plus 2 again, then we're going to take x plus 2 and put that for everywhere we see x. So f of x plus 2 is going to equal, okay, anywhere I see an x, I'm going to write x plus 2 instead. So x plus 2 over 3 minus x plus 2. Now, on the top, we don't really need to do anything. It's just x plus 2. On the bottom, we need to distribute this negative sign into the parentheses. So we can think of this as plus a negative x minus 2. So we're going to have a negative x here, and then 3 plus negative 2 is going to be 1. So plus 1. And you might want to write that as x plus 2 over 1 minus x. These would be the same thing. And both of them are the solution here. Now let's try evaluating um, f of f of negative x. So here we would have f of x um, equals negative x, so we're plugging in negative x anywhere we see an x, over 3 minus negative x. So this would be negative x over 3 plus x. And so just in the same way that we 
substitute a number for x, we can also substitute a different variable expression. We just need to be careful to make sure that we plug in whatever that variable expression is. Sorry, this should say negative x here. Um, whatever that variable expression is, we need to plug that in wherever we see an x in the original function. So wherever we saw an x, we plugged in a negative x instead.